This is not a Democratic issue. This is not a Republican issue. This is a human issue. The effects of climate change are right in front of us. From droughts to wildfires to extreme weather, this is an existential threat. And even small changes to the climate can have wide-ranging effects on public health, from asthma to heart problems and airborne diseases. Humans aren't well equipped to deal with drastic changes in our environments over long periods of time. Between 2030 and 2050, climate change is expected to cause approximately 250,000 additional deaths per year due to malnutrition, disease, and heat stress. Climate change is a long-term change in weather patterns, and we're seeing it right now. We see it with stronger and more frequent hurricanes and storms and droughts, and we will continue to see these patterns emerge over time. Climate change poses several threats to a human's health. For example, air quality. We know that air quality in certain parts of the country and world continues to decline, causing certain disease states, such as reactive airway disease, asthma. Our ozone is decreasing, increasing our risk factor for skin cancer and how we're exposed to sun. We're seeing individuals who are going to be predisposed to heat stroke. There are going to be water shortages that will also impact the quality and the quantity of water. Climate change affects agriculture and in turn it affects our access to nutrient foods. And when those resources become scarce, you're asked to pick up from your home and that has a long-term impact both physically and mentally. In my travels as a surgeon and providing services, I've seen communities where their entire villages are wiped away by flooding and they're displaced. In this relocation process, they're gonna lose their culture and their way of life. And that is going to take a mental toll on that entire community. According to one report, 25 to 50 percent of people who are exposed to an extreme weather disaster are at risk for adverse mental health effects. Climate change is a threat multiplier. People who are already struggling economically, people who are already struggling with their health and well-being will only struggle more in a climate crisis. Your zip code is the greatest predictor of your life expectancy. It's the conditions where you're born, where you learn, where you work, where you play. All of these conditions will affect your health and well-being. People who are born in places that have greater and more stable infrastructure, climate will impact them, but not in the same way that it will impact individuals who are living in places with failing infrastructure already. Climate doesn't just impact the world, it's personal. If you're not seeing it now in your community, it's only a matter of time. For us to not pay attention to climate change as a whole is a misstep. It's important to be mindful of our consumer behaviors. While it is convenient to have one item shipped to us from some far distance, what is the overall impact when each individual is partaking in this behavior? There's also corporate responsibility. It's important to not be siloed into just thinking about your own business, but the overall impact in climate change. I recycle, I try my best to reduce my carbon footprint. If the individuals who are determining the policies around climate are not in place, I can recycle for the rest of my life. It is not going to matter. The most important thing, in my opinion, that people can do in the now to address the climate crisis is to vote. In every single election that you are able to vote in and to vote for individuals who accept science and reality. Governments are gonna to have to act. Businesses are gonna to have to act. Communities are gonna to have to act. And individuals are gonna to have to act. This is an all hands on deck 
crisis that we're dealing with. I'm excited and hopeful that young people are very passionate about climate change. They're taking action by being involved in local community, starting nonprofit organizations that focus on specific issues. It is imperative that we as a society provide our youth with the opportunities to reach their full potential by addressing the climate crisis now. Thank you.